I'm Mike Wilbanks from Oklahoma City. I have Constrictors Unlimited. Um, we've been breeding reptiles since 1995. I've kept them all my life, and uh, I'm, this, this is one of the animals we're most proud of right now, the black-eyed leucistic. This is the homozygous form of a, of a mutation called the fireball. You breed two fires together and 25% of your babies will come out like this. And this is really what, we've, what we were searching for for many years to have an all-white ball python. And an albino is just lacking black so that so, you know, when you pull the black out it leaves a lot of yellow in the animal. This just lacks all pigment, you know, it's just completely white. This is the normal. And then this is fireball. See, it's just got a lighter, kind of brighter appearance. Yeah. Mixed with some of the other mutations like the pastel, it, it will enhance other mutations besides just being able to breed together to make, uh, make the white one. Although that's the primary thing right now. I think ball pythons are probably the best for, for just a pet because they're, they're really reluctant to bite. I mean, they're real trustworthy. They're, they do well in captivity. That's why they've been so popular because they, they don't want to get sick. They don't, they eat good. They, you know, I, th I think they make great pets. I think that this thing works at whatever level you, you can and want to do or you're comfortable with. I would say don't go mortgage your house to, to buy some ball pythons, but if you have $5,000, say you got a tax refund or something and you've got $5,000 you want to invest, you can make a lot of money for a long time. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it, I, I think it'll work at any level. I mean, if you invest in, in uh, 10 things that are $5,000 and then you uh, breed them every year, then you'll just make money year after year and you'll make more money. This show, I've done Tinley for four years now, and then I did LA twice, and then this is the first year that it's been here. But these guys really do know how to put on a great show, and this is a, a good place to come to see what all is available in the market. Um, they'll attract a, a lot of quality breeders because I think they are, uh, uh, they know how to put a show on, they treat the vendors really well. Now that a lot of things are being produced, and there's more uh, competition among all of us. It's caused that to be where the buyers have a little bit more say so in things and so it's caused the prices to come down. I have a picture of my grandfather in 1941 with a uh, bull snake wrapped around his neck and then my dad uh, imitating that picture with a boa constrictor in like 63 which you know boa constrictors it's pretty rare to have a boa constrictor in 1963. And then ever since I was a little kid, you know, I had aquariums stacked up in my room and, you know, just I've kept them my whole life. And once I started getting into the pythons and the genetic mutations, you know, I started making a good living at it. And now, you know, it's changed my life. This whole, this uh, reptile thing has just been great.